Fantastic Four flaming out at the box office this weekend. The film is widely expected to take the number one spot, but Mission Impossible stays alive to win for the second week in a row. Wow. Joining me now is entertainment reporter Katrina Zisch. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good All right. morning. So what did you make of the weekend? Well, well, of course, as you said, disappointing numbers for the Fantastic Four. It was expected to, to debut at about $45 million mm -hmm. and only pulled in 26.2, um, which is pretty much an epic fail for a superhero yeah. film in, in these days. Uh, Mission Impossible continues to go strong. Tom Cruise proving that he's still got it and people already talking about the sixth installment of the franchise. Mm. And kind of a surprise number three, The Gift. It seems to be the gift that keeps on giving, starring Jason Bateman. It was projected as a psychological thriller, projected to bring in eight million, uh, brought in twelve million, and it only cost five million to make. Are there no new names in Hollywood? Right? We're talking uh, about <laughs> Tom Cruise and Justin Bateman. It's amazing. I know Jason Bateman, but yes, well, Jason Bateman. But, but, sorry, but, but Joel Edgerton um, stars a, while. a long time uh, alongside him, and he's <laughs> the writer and director of this film. So this is big for him, and uh, the first big screen uh, debut for STX Entertainment a new company that will huh. be releasing, I guess, 12 to, uh, I think, 12 to 18, new or 12 to 15 new films next year. So this is big for them. I mean, this was a beating, really, for the Fantastic Four, It really, Four, huh? really was, yes. Um, the, the franchise, even 10 years ago, did very poorly. This was expected to do better. Unfortunately, it did not. So predictions were for 40 million. It brought in 45 million. 26.2. Oh, what was brutal. wrong with it? Really, Why really was bad. it a fantastic flop? Uh, apparently that, well, there's, here's a little interesting note. Last week, the director, uh, Josh Trank, actually tweeted, I had a much better cut. The studio booted it and recut it, and he quickly removed that wow. tweet, but apparently the damage was already done. It was panned by critics, didn't bring in the younger viewers as anticipated. Huh. Um, Talk to me really about Tom Cruise, it. because, I mean, the Mission Impossible brand, I mean, it just keeps on going. It keeps on despite going. Despite skepticism that it won't. Exactly. There's something about Tom Cruise at the box office in this role. People are saying, you know, he could ride out the rest of his career just continuing this Mission Impossible franchise and do incredibly well. And that does seem to be true. Also, before this film, his marketing for his films is over the top. He's enthusiastic. He gets out there. He's present. He's available. And his enthusiasm, I think, really Really does inspire audiences to get and out there Jason and, see the film. and Jason Bateman enjoying uh, Bateman enjoying some bit of a renaissance right now. A uh, totally a renaissance, of course. I mean, he's back after you know much the much beloved Arrested Development sort of uh, faltered, but also Jason Bateman. Interestingly enough, he's having also a great trip this week. He is actually on uh, Jennifer Aniston and Justin Theroux's honeymoon with them, along with Courtney Cox. Aren't they in like Bali or They're something? They're in Bora Bora. Bora Bora. I, the group honeymoon concept, I don't quite get it. Yeah, but well, Jason Bateman's. Happy what a great weekend. I don't get that either. That's yeah, it's like, I mean, how many times <laughs> Would you bring your friends and your hurry? <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right, I Katrina, not. I want to get your take on another story that we're watching this morning. I know viewers care about this one, binge watching. We're talking about Hulu. It's rolling out a new season of The Mindy Project, but only releasing one episode a week instead of all at once. Is this the beginning of the end for this binge watching? You know, I think it might be. It's an interesting approach by Hulu. You know, people, they're used to some of these streaming um, opportunities are used to people sitting down on a Sunday and watching the entire season. But this is something, again, releasing uh, episodes week by week that really will, I think, force people to become invested in the Hulu experience. So I think it's a good experiment. And uh, again, the Mindy Project is something that is I think beloved by fans. I think so. binging continues. And you know, get this, my niece Alana was saying that there's talk among her age group, they're, you know, 20 year olds, that these companies should also have uh, dating sites on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and Hulu for the people who binge. They could uh, date, you know, it should be a dating site as well. Binge daters, you know, people who are binge watch should become binge dating. I'm, I'm a passionate binge watcher. I mean, I, I, I waited for Game of Thrones through, through like season four. I binge watched that. Yes. I binge watch House of Cards. I mean, that's one of the great pleasures yes. of a rainy weekend. I agree. I did the same with yeah. True Detective the first season, yeah. and I mean, it, it really sucks you in. So it'll be interesting to see how this does. I can't, can't, wait, I can't wait for the day. Sure. I, like I can you totally binge watch that. anything. I like how you totally like, I'm not going in there with D-Mac on whatever her yeah, it. Anthony, the only man on this set has been extremely quiet. What, you didn't head out to Mission oh, Impossible to see Tom Cruise this weekend? Well, I always think that uh, Mission Impossible is exciting, and I tell you why I think it's exciting, because we are sort of in a dull kind of an environment at times, uh -huh. and that offers you that edgy excitement that very few movies offer, and I think that's the reason why that franchise Death is Death defying time. stunts. Well, it seems to be working for Tom Cruise. All right, thank you, and thanks to Katrina Zish for thank joining you. us on set this morning. And